So level 31 Warwick, three epic slots. We're definitely going to go with Cruel Experiments, where you play an ally with two plus health, deal one to it, and grant it Overwhelm and Impact. That will make everything just go so much faster. And because we're playing the new Arcane event, I really want to play Loaded Dice, so we can have more and better powers from champions that are in the game. But what is the final one? What is our final relic? I think it's like this. I think this might be the best loadout. And then we're gonna go to the Legends of Arcane and we were at the third one. Garen, 3.5. We got 30 and Bessifrey. More impact, more good. No, because we care about different instances of damage. Two impact or one impact is still one instance of damage. We can do better. Beyond the Mist. Wait. This one might be a little bit better than last time. Grant your allies impact. When ally attacks, grant allies with the same name everywhere, plus one, plus zero. It's when you play, not when you summon. Well, I think we're just going to go Pyromania. Plus two. It's not a hard choice, really. <laughs> It's basically the one that's already in the game. Elemental wins or whatever. But don't worry, I'm feeling the high roll. I feel like we're going to get something even better than this. What we need now is the Jinx 6-star. Double the damage of all spells and skills. There he is. To the field. Tough? That's the first unit they play? Deal f <laughs> Yeah, okay. Alright. And you see the fire animation too. I've trained my whole life for this. No! Oh yeah, okay. Uh can't attack though, unfortunately, but that does make everything go a lot faster. How good is this guys? Slow down, will you? It's pretty good. Let's make it deep. It's not insane, but it's pretty damn good. No okay, it's insane. Bro, what? A level? And he kills it? Hands off the merch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I do kind of like the relic, but it makes things slightly more awkward. Especially if you're against, like, a lot of Overwhelm stuff. Plus two damage. Alright. That's a lot of damage. It's also Flash Bombs that work with Warwick. One Mana Lucian. Last Breath Rally. This one is pretty good, actually. Oh my god, Ezreal? Oh, he has a terrible item, though. I mean, this is, like, kind of crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try Ezreal. It might backfire. But I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play for, like, the best synergy I can find. How many stars do you have, Warwick? Four. Four stars. What we need is a way to refill spell mana or to make spells cheaper. And then we're just completely gonna pop off. How a new champ? Yeah, really fun, actually. I, I think they cooked, personally. Watch and learn. Can't stop me. Tell me the truth. You took only so Ezreal can int himself every time he summoned, didn't you? Yep, I just want this Ezreal to kill himself every time I play him. Exactly. At least Fire. you get it. Alright, nice. I knew we had it all Very along. nice. The opponent discards a random card. Oh, this thing kills me, though. This thing straight murders me. This does, like, 8 damage to my own unit. Let's take this, I think. Kind of 
costs one less for each card you've played. Each card you've drawn this round. Yes. Okay, let's cut a card. I don't like the Kempunk Shredder at all. I think that's like the worst card. Okay, there are two mini bosses. Strand this is the first one. By Silken Strand. I think impact and work should be good. Yeah, we have that. His relic gives him impact. I, I will be honest, like... The champions themselves are very fun, but I am still very disappointed by Warwick's starting deck. I think that's like a really just big stain on what would otherwise be an incredibly fun champion. Huh? Huh? What happened here? Stop playing elite. Ooh. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Now that is interesting. Oh my god. Hey, goodbye. I play a unit and Warwick will kill it. Oh, they're smart. Damn it. Too smart. Yeah, good luck sticking a unit. Oh, goddamn. Okay, they, they they actually did stick a unit. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. A war me with the relic that gets plus two plus two one damage with the war relic. I mean, a single plus two plus two ones is still kind of terrible. That happens first? Bro, just strike them first. What are you, stupid? Wait. Ah, uh, that's whack. He could have just, like, used... Uh, I guess it's the order of the relics. If this was on top, this would have happened first, and he wouldn't strike. Stupid idiot. Let's use Blood Hunt on Warwick, too. Yes, but that's... bad. The world's a big place. It's not really how you want to use your cards. It's, it's a thing you can do, I just don't think it's very good. Can't stop me. Ezreal did int himself, so yeah, I guess there is that. A dead Ezreal is a good Ezreal. How does Iceborne Gauntlet work? Strike draw one. This will draw us a million cards. Okay, let's try that out. Let's try it out. Because we strike at round end if something's damaged, and we, we strike on play. Allies with base six plus cost, one less. No. This could be, like, fine, but it's kind of boring. We could do better. Round start. Grant a random ally plus one plus one for each unit that died last round, as well as all their keywords. This is Tresh. This is Tresh's three star. Is that good? We don't really have that many units that die. It's not really great. Welcome gifts. Okay, these are boring. After you spend six plus mana, you spend each round. After you spend 6 plus mana, you spend each round. Grant allies plus 2 plus 2. After you spend 12 plus mana each round, rally. That's to be in a single round. But like, Trifarian might. <laughs> I'm down to try this either way. I just try it. I, I'm gonna have a hard time spending 12 mana, though. Enemy counts 2. What? A six plus mana thing can proc twice around. I'm, I mean, I, I don't have any coins. I don't have any mana cheating. I'm gonna have a pretty rough time triggering it. Enemy counts for trash power too, which may. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't play trash. Okay, that would have made it a lot better, actually, yeah.
Oh my god, we're gonna draw so many cards. Wait, am I burning? I'm burning because of this card. Oh, it's Ezreal. That's fine. Just an Ezreal. He levels fast, boys. Turn two again. Is that the level matters? Unless they have something I can strike, but still. Okay. Just an idiot. Just stupid. Just, just really bad. Just a stupid idiot. Alright. If you get any champion second star, you will also get the plus one starting man. Yeah, that's correct. It's like part of the text. That is that is crazy, by the way. I, I have I seen a a second star? I don't think I've seen a single one actually. Sure. Mine is one cause warwick. That is a turn one warwick. Down. Okay, we won. We've already won. It's over. Minus one cost on this. I don't think I need that. No. An epic shop. Yep. Wow. The sorcery is insane. It is unironically just a removal pile, though. Warwick is a removal pile deck. 100%. This has got Teemo with Ambessa. <laughs> I do want to play some more Ambessa, too. Remove everything. Light the fuse. Time to go. So wait, what was Ambessa six star? Best six star is like if you do X during an attack, kill the strongest enemy unit or something. Was that it? Something like that. Right. Powers. When you attack with 10 plus total power, kill the strongest back row enemy. Damn. Yeah, that's gonna be really powerful too. Don't blink. Oh, you miss me. I think minus, minus two cost on plunder is gonna work. I think it's very playable. Yeah. Not sure about good, but playable. Let's sure. make it deep. It's kind of hard to tell what's good and what isn't in general right now. It's too early. Okay, by the Aurelian powers, that's insane. Yeah, they're in the pool. And they are good. We play a card, give me plus one plus one this round. Uh, yeah. We play a spell, deal one to the Amy Nexus. We play a lot of spells. I'm just gonna take it. That's also a ping, actually. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, that's really good. <gasps> Wait, we, we broke this run. We completely broke this run. No power in this world can stop. You get any power? Yeah, you can get you can get powers from other champions. But only in the arcane event. And it is very fun. It is incredible. 60 Warwick Fragments for beating 4.5 Fragments with a Demacia Champ. It's too free. Yeah, they're they're very generous here. They are. It's good. Okay, Sorcery is, is really stupid good on Warwick, though. Like, a little too good. I think it's best in slot for him. It's just crazy. So happy with the 1.5 times speed. Yeah, sure. There he is. I should have played this. I 
I can't access the legendary. Yeah, for some people it's locked out. I don't know why. People are saying it's up in 13 minutes though, so try that maybe. It is strange though. Is it has has Rune Terra said anything about it? Let me check. No message. Uh, should I quickly send a message to Riot? So there's a- you guys are saying there's a timer on it? Like, I'm playing it right now. For me, it's available, but I can quickly send a message. To get some clarification, maybe. Maybe it depends on what Ryu played. That's weird, though. Can somebody send me a screenshot on, um, on Discord? If you send me a screenshot, I'll send it to Riot on the uh, on Discord. See if I can get a quick reply. Create a fleeting sharp and resolve. It costs one less. Bad. Create a zero cost fleeting time and dedication hand. The first time you forge, you round forge again. Wait. But we have we have the spell burn. This is a lot of pings. We summon the unit without playing it. Grant it spirit twice. This could be really good, guys. I'm gonna try it because I think it's two damage and two pings for Warwick. Yeah, ping the Nexus twice, exactly. Change your PC time to a future time zone like EU. It's one? Yeah, I wasn't actually sure if it's just like Forge again or cast a spell again. It sounded like Forge again, but I, I still think it's like good enough. I try to roll their friends so, before. ping. Uh, ping. Yeah, it's only once. That's fine then. That is fine. Is Warwick also has this, so it's just good. I don't, I don't think we're struggling here. Choose a place to die. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> bro. What is going on, man? That's so broken. Oh my god. I really want to see what Warwick is like in Nightmares. I really want to just find out what the hardest content when you're playing with Warwick looks like. Warwick seems pretty fun. He's very fun. Like, he's completely exceeded my expectations. Okay, I really don't need more of this. I'll, I'll just take that. Minus one cost. I mean, it's like a deal four to the board. Sure, I guess. The first time you damage the enemy Nexus each round, the next card you play costs three less. Yeah, we do that a lot. It's just kind of good, actually. You could get so broken here. Survive the night? I'll go to Space Doggos. Manual Victor powers just called the arcane. Let's use other powers just like here. Bro, that would be so sick. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Oof. <laughs> the spell burn on Warwick. It's actually just good. Crazy. The world's a big place. See all of it. 
unfortunate sequencing, but whatever. Oh, you're just dead, right? Like, there's no way. You're just dead. The serpent awakens to pursue the fearful. Garen is down. Jeez. Is victorious. This, this, this is a fun freaking event. I am loving it. If this is a taste of what's to come, I cannot wait for more. It's so simple to just break the game like this. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. Two pings. Three, because we have Spellburn. I'm going to cut this. I can never get to seven mana. All right, the foe creates a fleeting single combat in hand. Yeah, good luck with that, Garen. I'm going to snipe you, kill you before you even get a chance to queue that spell up. I do this, it will damage their nexus. And I can play this for zero. Kill you. And it's not mana for this. This. And then they're basically dead. Turn one. It's like th these are 3.5 star adventures, which isn't low, but it's also not high, right? But the thing is. At like these mid-level adventures, Warwick's level two just there's never anything to kill on the board. No, you're dead. <laughs> well, GG. Thanks, Annie. Plus two damage on everything with Warwick. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice. Fly in my face. All right. Let's do the next one too. What comes after Garen? All right, let's do it, chat. Oh, yeah. Both players created cards, cost one less, and deal one to their player nexus when played. And they have deadly. Okay, so this one is going to be a, a pretty well step up. What is this A doing here? Arcane? Run the Heimer Relic? If I lose, I will do that. Wait, what the hell? I, I get that immediately? LS have Daybreak, or when you activate another Daybreak, grant me plus one plus one. Oh my god. I mean, this is really good. Should I take this? I can roll. I'm Okay, I'm gonna roll. I wanna see if I can get something cooler. Copy the first two fleeting units or spells you play. No. When you play a created card, reduce the cost of allies cha ally champions everywhere by one. When you play a champion, level them up, you're welcome. Oh, and Bessa is here? Yo. Wait, that's sick, actually. What the hell? So we need creative cards, huh? Uh, this is pretty goddamn good, actually. Oh, my God. I Okay, so he has a terrible item, but, like, whatever. Create a coin. It's not wrong. The end boss is epic. Okay, I'll see it when I get there. No spoilers, chat. This is created. Huh. Wait, I can keep the kill then because I can basically play her. Wait, is that nuts or what? This Jinx character friend of yours? This is created. 
I don't really have anything to worry about, I don't think. Wait, oh my god. And that's Kings? Wait, does that do one to mine? Do one to their Nexus? Oh, I see. Wait, I think that was their Nexus. Oops. Yeah, the Hyper Relic is actually kind of good then, huh? Just keeping the pin. Officer Kipple, you never did return my pen. Never did return my pen. He's leveled already? Bro, I'm just like, I'm gonna be nuking my own Nexus? Play my cards faster. It is for the divine to dispense just on wings of fire. Hope right. ascends! I really so levels them. That's why Warwick was leveled. Okay. Those that cry out for justice shall have it. Uh, the main game mode for Rune Terror is PVE. Yes, Path of Champions. If you play a zero two times, it goes to level three. Yep, he does. Michael's blessing. The opponent discards a random card. Sure. Spirit. I don't really want to use more rolls. I'll just take Spirit. Hey, who's this Michael character? Unfortunately, the glory days of LOR PvP are gone, but the PvE mode is quite fun. Yes. No, I... I still miss the PvP dearly. I do. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that my favorite game still exists and that they do have a mode that's also very fun. No way they kill this. Humanity's darkest hour no demands my return. Oh. Wait, why is everything tough? Divine absolution is an end to their Oh, because this is tough. Wait, I have to kill this ASAP. I consider myself the key to this operation. Uh-oh. Rocket Blaster. Wait, this is a tech encounter now and not a puff cap encounter? I love that you can hear Warwick when you play that. You think a new future PvP returns or it's done for 2025 too? Yeah, I think it would like at least it would take at least like two years if it comes back. I think. By holy night. Bonk. I've got brain thrown in beauty. I've never heard these voice lines. I think thinking PvP will come back as massive copium. Sure. I'm just saying, if it ever would, it would take at least two years. Because uh, I don't think Runeterra is doing poorly now, after the pivot. At all. I mean, Hero's VA is so good. It's so good. It's one of my favorites in the game. It's up there with Zolani. I think Zolani is the best. Right, we're doing all right here. We're doing all right. Okay, good play. I'm pretty excited for this final boss. I don't know what to expect, but you guys are hyping it up like crazy. Can we call Hexcore Foundry Henry? Henry the Hexcore Foundry. That's pretty catchy. Henry the Hexcore Foundry. We draw a card, grant your strongest ally plus zero plus one an impact. Get in. Six mana Zolani. I'm gonna have to pass on that. 
If she was a champion, I would buy that immediately. But she ain't. Okay, Kempunk Shredder out of here. Okay, and Bessa. One of the foes units attacks, grant copies of it everywhere, plus one, plus one. Okay. Uh, keeping me here is probably incorrect, but... If I don't make incorrect plays, where's the fun in all of this? I miss her dialogue. Oops. Oh, I hope that was not. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. Did her level one not have barrier? I thought it did. Am I coping? Her level one has barrier, right? The world awaits! Forward! Warwick power. Oh, the warrior power, right. Yeah, I just thought like I, for some reason I was expecting the the power to show up there, but obviously it wouldn't. Oh my god, she gets that too. Oh! Huh? Bro, chill. Wait, they're huge. Oh my god, I can't kill them now. Wait, that's really strong. The fast speed stun is crazy. I bomb the Ambessa. That works. That works out. Come on, boys. Okay. That's really good. Sure. Divine absolution is an end to their agony. Let them be all our restraints. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Yeah, I really don't know what. Stuff she could have to screw with us here. Okay, we got him. Okay, nice. For a second, that was scary. So, have you tried the bazaar? Yes, I have. I love the bazaar, but EU is cooked. The bazaar is unplayable on EU. There's so many issues. I keep getting disconnected from it. Are they gonna add VO and animations after Arcane release, or is the game dying even if in PvE for real? Uh, that's a horrible take, first of all. Um, has nothing to do with the game dying. This is something that's been communicated since the start of the year. We're just seeing the effects now. Because they're actually adding new content to the game. Uh, and no, they will not be adding new voiceovers or animations after Arcane. If you're interested in this type of stuff, I would recommend just looking up information on, um, on either my YouTube or the interview. Reddit, Twitter. This is pretty good. But we can do better. Round starts on a ghastly band. That one is good. Okay, I want to go here. This is a new encounter as well, right? The foe summons Zon Bouncer if they don't have one. I never see this card. I love them in patches for Warwick putting new followers. I think that is by far the biggest miss. That there's no new followers for Warwick. If Warwick had new followers, I think this would be like one of the best patches they've done. This card is crazy, but this power is crazy, rather. This is 
amazed that devs have enough passion for the game, even with such limited fun. Yeah, it, it deserves nothing but respect. Uh, I've talked to the devs multiple times, and honestly, like, their love for this game is inspiring. I thought I love Runeterra, but compared to the devs, it is nothing. We think we like this game, they love this game. They would marry this game. You almost fixed the bazaar. I'm playing for two whole days with like two disconnects. That's easily fixed with relog. As as EU? You're, you're EU. That's good news. Okay, I'll have to uh, I'll have to try it out again then. No. Almost there at the end. Like two more encounters? Last breath rally. <laughs> I'll take this one and cut it later though. It's gotta be slightly better. And I really don't want to reroll. Stabilize, quick draw, and the Yi power. We'll roll here. Game starts summon a hibernating rock bear. Allies have plus one, plus one, and overwhelm. When an ally attacks, grant allies with the same name everywhere, plus one, plus one. This is Ambessa. This is good, but like... One? I think this is better. I, come on, I think I'm gonna roll, though. I want something insane. Run start Frostbite, the strongest enemy, and give it vulnerable this round. If someone created ally, give it plus one, plus one. When an ally attacks, grant... Okay, this is just worse. Okay, last reroll. Each round, the first ally you play with a different subtype than other allies costs two less. We summon an ally with buff stats, granted two random keywords. Two, yeah, two was insane. Like, the overwhelm was good, but I think it's kind of boring. I want to see something even crazier. This seems really good. Warwick is a dog, yes. But this, everything is buffed. Everything gets two random keywords. I think this is better. This would only work for Warwick and, and the bird. I'm going for this. That seems crazy. We found the new Ambassador note. I found it, but it's bugged and it doesn't let me go there. And since it's the only note for it, I'm stuck now. Yeah, people have been saying that and it is really, really unfortunate. Wait, what? Shuffled our stats. Wait, so my warrior could just become like a, a zero attack dude as well? There's a keyword. Of course I'm ready. Oh, you shuffle the stats after, okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Damn. I mean he kills it anyway. Zero five again. Deathless. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, I have me kills. I can get rid of the stun. Refreshment from a crossroads era. Oh, I lose my life steal because of that. Okay, we got the life steal. I, I just want to heal with this. Give me a big heal. 
Okay, more attack. Okay, that works. The animation is good, actually. It's like uh, the jaw. I don't know, man. Everything just seems so much better than we thought it was going to be. Did we not see that in the champion reveal? I guess we didn't. Give me shot. Summon a unit with 8 attack, health, or cost. Granted, plus 8 plus 8. That could be nuts. It has the potential to be nuts. Oh, wait. We're at the boss. Wait, what? What? Wait, what's going on? Wait, what? There's more? Like the Kinra wolf bite, but in red? I mean, it's sick that they're doing that. It adds so much flavor. Okay, what's going on with the map, though? There's more. This is not the end. Blood. Yes. I can do this. Oh my god. He has regen. Yeah, that's not good. Folk rates of blood on an end, or if they have one, we're it's literally what we do. Wait, that's kind of strong. What? First one's free. Life steal. I gotta try to kill this. No refunds. System upgrade. Okay, so like that, and then we Warwick here. Oh. And yeah, they can do that too. No more, Mr. Nice Purple. Oh, seventeen twelve. I'm counting. <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. All right, that works. Let the show begin. Sure. Should be it. All right, got him. So what? What? What's up with the rest here? What's going on with the map? What is behind the Warwick? Okay, what's going on? Power. We won. Oh my god, we won. <laughs> we got the Jinx power again. King of the Wumps. Huh? The full summon is a sum monument. What is going on? The sense of being stalked lingers. The struggle has pulled you deep into the sump. Wait, that is awesome. Wait, that is so freaking cool. Wait, what? Bro, the flay- I actually have no idea what's going on, and it's awesome! Faint whimpering. Huh? But why? My first big mission. Oh my god, every card we play now is gonna shuffle shrooms. <laughs> what is going on, man? In your deck? Better run! Forty-five. Okay. <laughs> huh? Okay, wait, they're doing a lot of damage here. I 
Teemo's support for his account, and he maybe deck at 1200 puff caps by the end of round one. <laughs> when I'm destroyed, create a copy main hand. Ah. Uh. Sixty-nine, nice. Hey, what the hell? My blade shall illuminate the dark on wings of fire. Hope ascends. That's gonna be a lot of puff gaps there. Glory and light. <laughs> e right, how many? That's a lot, dude. 407. Ah, I think you're good. 19 cards. There you go. Isn't Killer Run and level up? Yeah, but we have to uh, rally in soul power. So everything just levels immediately. Thy message, 19, okay. 489. That's a cool encounter. That is actually really fun. As long as that one doesn't feel like bullshit, that's a really fun encounter. Okay, so there's one more here. Oh, we don't even get anything. Cornered captive. Something far bigger than Warwick is rummaging in the sump. In the pale bioluminescent glow, you see it. An enormous chemically altered beast, the Chemdrake. And worse, it sees you. Monka? So the foe summons a Chemtech Drake and shackles it four times. That's such cool flavor, dude. And like it shackled there, but you still get the effect from it? Bro, this is all I wanted from Path. That's so flavorful. Seven mana to unshackle it. Well, that has gloom on it. Okay. They're Wait, they're just removing my stuff. Legit turbo cooked and said nah way too fun limited time only I think it's kind of smart This is such a hype event you want people to play now Uh oh Wait what the hell Wait that's not good Wait they're not attacking with this Why Why would they not attack with that Won't find better this side of the sun there's a one-star version of this adventure. Does it not have like the chem drake and stuff like what we're doing right now? Oh my god. Chill. Oh, goodbye. No refund. They only have eight cards. Two. I've conceived an idea most ingenious, a path to champions, but rather than one player, it's two of them. One of them attacks with Zaya, meanwhile the other defends with Rakan. I actually think that's like, really clever, yeah. Um, that sounds like what they, I don't know if it's like Zaya Rakan, but we had that same concept with like the, um, where you were fighting against a Noxian army or whatever. Mine is a solemn one player attacks the other defend, but I think that would work perfectly for Path. Doesn't even have to be like Zyra Khan, just be like two different champions. I think the drafting might be rough though, I don't know how to do that. That's something that I have to, they would have to figure out. Seventeen nine dog. Hmm. 
<laughs> you might be dead. Wait, that was burst? We got him. Okay, that was a sick adventure, man. Wow. That was really, really cool. What an update. And there's still two more adventures. Sick. That was the best part. Like the, the final two encounters that were by far the best part. The flavor, man. Very good. One of those two adventures, Karma. All right, I'm already not excited. <laughs> All right, but that was, that's probably one of the most fun adventures in the game right now. I think Fiddlesticks is really cool, but this is up there, dude. This is also like, you don't need to beat stats necessarily. There are big stats, but it's not like why you're winning or losing. Those are just like clever mechanics for the fights. That's really fun.